Uh, hi, I'm Chris with Gratitude Space, and we're in Cincinnati today, and I'm, I've made a new friend here. Could you say hi, please? Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Musman. I'm the Director of Education at the Homeless Coalition here in Cincinnati. So we're at the Homeless Coalition today, which is an amazing place. You haven't heard about it. We're going to let Mark here after I get to ask my questions. He's going to share a little bit more about what they do here. So, Mark, uh, when I say who in your life you're grateful for, who popped your mind first? Uh, I would definitely say my partner popped into my mind first. Uh, they're always there to support me and telling me that I'm always doing awesome, even when uh, I have some issues in what I'm doing. So what's your partner's name? Uh, Key. Key, okay. Yeah. And um, you just actually shared what you were grateful for Key, but can you tell us a little more about why you love Key? Um, basically, over the years, Key's always been there for me. Uh, we've been together for almost 10 years now, but friends for almost 20 Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we started off as running partners where we'd literally be running, um, but now we've just taken it to the next level and we're always uh, there to support each other every step of the way. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing the key with us. That's yeah, awesome. no problem. Um, congratulations on having that. That's a wonderful <laughs> thing. That's something to be grateful for, for sure. So, uh, Dr. Mark, could you uh, tell us a little more about specifically about what you do here? Let like, me just give us, you know, give it. Yeah, so uh, at the Homeless Coalition, we're an advocacy organization, which means that we're like a macro level organization. So we organize down at City Hall, uh, you know, we go to the State House, we write letters. Um, and what I do as the Director of Education is go out to schools. Um, community groups or anyone who wants to hear from someone who's experienced homelessness and uh, we give them a chance to tell their story um, and through telling their story it kind of puts a face on homelessness um, because in the past we've had a lot of incidents where people have specifically targeted people experiencing homelessness uh, for violent acts um, and things like that so what we want to do is a lot of them are younger people mm -hmm. so we figure if we get to the younger people earlier um, with a clear message of compassion um, that they'll be able to change those behaviors in the future. Um, so we have our Voice of the uh, Homeless Speakers Bureau, which is about eight, eight to ten people that will tell their story. Um, and then we also do other things like uh, alternative breaks with college students, so they'll stay for us for about a week. Um, oh. and we, do, we work with our member organizations. The Homeless Coalition is about 70 different organizations. So we work with our member organizations to do different direct service, education, um, and volunteering. It's a really great experience. Sounds like it. Wow, when I said 70, I'm thinking, I need to go meet these people. Um, that was awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I'm Chris with Mark saying stay grateful. Thanks.